In this video I will show you how to change your Roblox game icon, so let's jump straight into it. As you can see I'm here on roblox.com and I'm currently logged into my account. Now what, what you want to do once you're logged in is come up to these options at the top and click on to create. So from here what you're going to want to do is just choose the game that you want to change the game icon for. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this tutorial one over here and then what you want to do is click on to edit in studio and then click the open Roblox pop-up that comes up. So this is going to go ahead and load up Roblox studio and of course load your game in. So once you're in the studio and your game has fully loaded, to change your game icon is very very easy to do. What you want to do is come up to the top to these different options and you want to click onto the one that says game settings up here. Next what you want to do on the left hand side, make sure you click onto basic info and you're going to see some information about your game. So you can change things like your name and description and if you scroll down slightly you're going to see the option to change your game icon. So what you want to do is click onto this plus button, now you want to make sure that the format is either JPG, JPEG or PNG and the recommended resolution is 512 by 512. Of course any images that you add will be reviewed by moderators before being made visible to other users. What I'm going to do is click onto this and change my icon. So what I've done I've just uploaded my logo so this is going to be my game icon so to go ahead and confirm the changes all you want to do is press the blue save button down here and if it does meet the criteria and it's the right resolution and format that's going to go ahead and save that automatically. So that's how to go ahead and change your game icon on Roblox. I hope this tutorial helped you out and if it did I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.